Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albanorano Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer. Today's beer is from Counterpart in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Thank you very much, Brian, for picking this up and sending it out to me. This is Blender's... This is a blender, so it's a sour ale from Counterpart. This is their Blueberry Peach Lemon Zest Vanilla and Lactose at 5% alcohol by volume. It's one of the big canned blenders. So Counterpart Brewing is on um, Stanley, I do believe. Most of the cans actually have the address, but this one just says brewed and packaged at Counterpart Brewing, Niagara Falls, Ontario. Uh, so we're going to open it back here just in case it blows. It does have a little bit of a squeezy squeeze to it. Okay, we're okay. You never quite know which one of these beers are going to go and which ones aren't. So, you know, it's always safe to be, well, better to be safe than sorry. Sorry, I see my, uh... Ooh, look at that color. Look at the head. You know, I always get more impressed by the, when the head has a color to it than just the beer. So here we go. Beautiful, beautiful snap, crackle, pop that I can hear from way over here. Beautiful tunnels being created. That head is a nice pink hue. The beer is a beautiful, like, ruby red. It is hazy. I really like this. This looks great. Scent out of the can. Just sour with some creamy vanilla notes. It's... It has that telltale kettle sour to it. Um, kind of what you'd expect uh, out of the glass. The glass smells pretty much the same. So, I mean, is what it is. I love that pink hue to this beer. I really do. What the hell was that? Was there a duck down here? Excuse me. Cheers. Let's try it. Okay, so, normally, I find the blenders to be very flavorful, very in-your-face. Um, I don't get much stone fruit. There is peach in here. And I know there's peach in here, so psychosomatically, at the very least, I should be like, ooh, that tastes like peach. I do get some blueberry notes, but... The blueberry notes are more on the on the sour tannic part of the spectrum than um, than the sweet part of the spectrum. I do get some vanilla, and I do get some creaminess from creamy sweetness from the lactose, and it does have a sour and slightly breadiness to it. So there's that sourness, there's that slight breadiness, there is a creamy sweetness, there is some vanilla. And again, I get like the over-ripened, mushy blueberry flavor. And I don't really pick up much stone fruit, but I mean, that could mix in with that little bit of sourness. If it, if we're looking at a under-ripened peach, it would roll right into, into that type of flavor. And the lemon zest, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. There's flavors in there that could be the lemon zest. But this is the first blender I've had where I can't actually pinpoint down whether or not I'm tasting what it says I'm tasting. Um, I love Counterpart. I really do. I'm more... I'm more in tune with their stouts and their sours and their IPAs, as most people know. They do make some good IPAs, don't get me wrong, they're just not really my fang. And that's that's perfectly a-okay. What I'm trying to get on this is that 
This is probably my least favorite of the blenders. It's still a really good beer. It really is. And it's a beer I would buy again. It's a beer I would drink again. But it's still the least favorite of the blenders for me personally. And that's, that's okay. All in all, would I buy this again? Sure. Would I put it at the eights and nines that I've given every other blender? No, but I would give this a seven out of 10. This is a solid beer. Uh, Counterpart always makes a solid beer. And unfortunately, this one wasn't a hit for me, but I still really enjoyed it. Thank you very much again, Brian, for stopping by after work one day and picking this up, putting it in a box. Uh, sending it out my way. Uh, I really do appreciate that. I really do. Um, oh, excuse me. Mm. That was barbecued chicken that I tasted there. And that plus the blender does not taste very or smell very good. Wow. Uh, good beer, though. Thanks. Bye.